Hey everyone. So we have learned uh, how to create different, uh, how to create secret, different ways of creating a secret in, in previous two videos. And from this video, we are going to learn, uh, we'll perform the lab, how to use those secrets in your application. Because once secrets uh, have been created, they need to be linked to the application. This, this means that Kubernetes needs to pass the value of the secret to the running pods in some way, right? That's the ultimate motive because we need to use the value. We do not wanna use the encrypted thing or the name of the secret, things like that. We wanna use the value in our application. And Kubernetes offers two ways to link your secrets to your application. We already talked about both the ways. It's environmental variables and mounting secrets as files. Mounting secret as file is the best way to consume your secrets in your application. Don't worry, we'll explain both the methods and we'll explain why mounting secrets as file is the best one. And <clears throat> so, Let's get started. Let me share my screen and start doing the lab for you. And we'll be talking while doing uh, while performing the lab so that it will help us digest and learn. Let's get started. So I have uh, same thing, same setup, one Kubernetes cluster and one node because our motive is to learn the secrets. We have created uh, secrets by three different ways in the previous two videos. And if I do cube get secrets, you can see these are the secrets that we have created in the previous video. Now, in today's video, we are going to use them. And in this video, we are going to use secrets as environmental variables. So how can we do that? We can simply do that. Uh, let me open the file that will help you understand. Uh, it's pod with environment secrets.yaml. So we can use secrets as environmental variables by referencing them in the pod definition under the containers. As you can see right here, this is the a uh, very small YAML file, which is running a single pod uh, named secret using environment for the reference, of course. And this pod would be <clears throat> running this container named Nginx, that is the image. And that's how we are giving the secrets <clears throat> as an environmental variables. As you can see, as you can see, we are giving name to the environmental variable as secret URL. And here is the key uh, right here, name and the key, name and the key. And this is the another environmental variable. So let's go ahead and create this YAML file. And let's see how this works. The basic command that we use to deploy anything with the YAML file, that is apply. Uh, and we need to provide the uh, name of the YAML file. And once I hit the enter, it should create the pod successfully. Get pods. There we go. We got one pod which is running. Okay. And we already had the secrets as I showed you that we have created in the previous video. Doesn't matter how you created it but it should be there so that we can reference them in the pod as environmental variables. Now, how can we check these environmental variables? We can do that by executing or by, ex by exacting <laughs> into the container. So there's something that we need to understand when Kubernetes creates a pod on a node that needs to use a secret. It will store that secret on the host in TMFS, a temporary file system. I'll repeat it again. Secret referenced in the pod is always stored in the temporary file system on the node. If there is no pod 
who doesn't need secret, it will not be there on that particular node. It's a security kind of feature, right? So when the last pod referencing that secret is no longer running on that node, the secret is deleted from the node's temporary file system or TMPFS. If a node is shut down or rebooted, TMPF is always erased. All right, so let's go ahead and check our uh, cube CDL uh, exec, right? We need to exec where we need to exec uh, in the secret and using env. That was the name of our pod, so let's exec into it. And we have only one container, so we need to define the container. We are inside the container. And here, if we echo, what we need to echo here, echo the environmental variable, which was secret uh, underscore URL. As you can see, this is the uh, secret URL we can see. And if we echo uh, secret token, It will provide us the, oh, I did something wrong. Secret, the spelling mistake. Yes, yes, let me do it again. Secret, R-E-T, yeah, okay. Token, there we go, we got the information. So that's how you can utilize or use this in your uh, uh, YAML file. And there, there are a few things. Uh, let me exit, uh, exit out from this part. We don't need to run any more command. But there are a couple of things to note uh, when you are going to utilize the secrets in the pod or referenced in the pod as an environmental variables. The first, you get the actual value of the secret back right here, the actual value, right? We did not get the base 64 encoding that we were doing in the previous videos. Uh, and this is expected. Since the base 64 encoding is only applied at the Kubernetes API level, not at the application level. Okay. Now, uh, second thing to note is that you were able to access the secret by opening a shell into the running container and echoing the secret. It is important to apply the right level of RBAC to pods in your Kubernetes so that not every cluster user is able to run the exact command and open a shell that we all also covered in the uh, first few videos of the security. This is again the security thing. We should not have we should have limited rights on the on the pods, okay? Now, also note that both the application in the form of container image and the pod definition had no hard-coded secret. The secrets were provided by the dynamic configuration in the Kubernetes, right? So the final thing is that any application can use the secret value by referencing, referencing the appropriate environmental variables. There is no way to limit which processes in a container can access which environmental variable. And the most important thing to know about secrets that are used in as environmental variable is that the value of the environment variable will not be updated let me repeat it again, will not be updated value when the secret itself is updated, right? So this might cause you to end up in a state where ports that are created after a secret is updated have a different environment variable value compared to the ports created before the secret was updated. So we need to plan accordingly. We need to think accordingly, right? So these are the few things that we, that, that is the conclusion of this lab that I shared at the end. And that's it. That's how we utilize uh, secrets. And in the next video, we are going to utilize secrets as file. Thank you for watching. Let's meet in another video. Take care. Bye-bye.